cat interviews at uber confluent indeed and many many more companies i have seen it all after countless hours on the other side of the table i know exactly what top companies are looking for especially in nld in this course i'll share the insider blueprints what to focus on especially key design patterns how much multi threading very important counter question traps and how to tackle them confidently this course is structured practical and tailored on what companies are looking for right now let's get you into ready right now after completing the creational design pattern we are now starting with the behavioral design pattern now this is one of my favorite design pattern literally this is one of the favorites you can say now what is this behavioral design pattern again behavior who judge and how other people judge your behavior when you communicate with them so this is how in general humans judge each other's behavior when you communicate same way behavior design pattern says that communication between object is actually done or catered with the help of behavioral design pattern simply how these objects will communicate with each other now imagine that you and your friends are planning a party and instead of calling you know each other individually you make a group and simply send a group message so basically what you did you did a communication between each other in a much more efficient and scalable way for example obviously you have 50 friends in future what if you have 100 friends let's say you become millionaire now you have 1000 friends so this is kind of a scalable way which is a group chat this is how you communicated and send the message to everyone at just once see you see that communication actually that is dependent on how again scalable communication is dependent on how you will structure things now obviously as i mentioned earlier that it entirely focuses on how the objects interact and communicate with each other now basically saying okay how the objects will collaborate to complete the task manage the flow of control between the objects and ensuring structured and organized communication between them now as we mentioned earlier why they are called behavioral because they focus on how the object communicate and work together because behavior of anyone is decided by how they are communicating if anyone anyone in in general anyone in you know my friends i'll judge their behavior by the way how they communicate with me and others that's it they are given the name behavior now uh, the biggest point or just you know to give a summary point we can say that some of the key points about behavior design pattern include clear communication because now you have much more clear again we will see the help of examples as well as we go towards more patterns we will see proper detail example that how they cater clear communication right now we have decoupling because now as you saw a group chat it is decoupled chat between all the friends which i have flexibility again in communication and also in scalability terms always it is better organized because it is easier to understand maintain and a very good very big code bases as well it is very easy now let's see a quick glimpse of all the design patterns all the behavioral design patterns first is observer as a word self says just observe what anything happens which means example all the subscribers you know of our channel gets updated automatically as soon as a new lld lecture is posted which means that you don't need to check again and again again and again although you might be coming and checking but you don't need to check whenever a video comes in and you have clicked that subscribe button and also bell icon you will all automatically notified basically you are actually acting as an observer for this channel next is strategy as the word itself says strategy for example you have you know a game so you will have different strategies again let's say a football game so i can have different strategies of, of how will be how i will be playing based on the weather based on the opponent i will change my strategies dynamically maybe my opponent one player get injured who's the strongest one and maybe someone else came up so i'll change my strategy and i'll just plug and play that thing so again this is how simply we can define a strategy design pattern next is command pattern as you can see simply command from a tv report you just do what you give a command obviously you can execute things you can undo or put up in a queue or you know just writing or giving corresponding commands chain of responsibility as the word itself says chain of responsibilities so responsibilities they go via a chain for example a tech support team right let's say if you get some internet issue you call tech support person now he will try okay i'll try this i'll try that and then if he is not able to find that or do that he will forward the call to manager 
the manager to tech to actual technician so the, you see that first person will try if not then forward the call okay he will try if not then forward and so on and so forth so same way that it will keep on chaining through until they reach the right handler to it next we have mediator pattern as the word itself says it is a mediator mediator is a person who stands between any work here and any work here for example your project manager basically he communicates you know the entire communication for example you as developers you will have a manager who will actually take updates from you and will give it to the other board members again i i made it very big although you have pms you have multiple other, uh, uh, other people in between but yeah just a small analogy that developers don't need to talk everyone will not talk to, uh, talk to you know everyone else entirely we can go via a mediator it actually makes the process much more smooth and streamlined because of this mediator pattern next we have state pattern as the word says state i hope so you remember class 6th you know ice water gas three states right i i hope so you must have remembered this it simply says that it goes through multiple states for example if you know uh, you change uh, like it's kind of that uh, changing your mood based on the situation which you have again situation right now if it's very cold then you will be in ice if it's medium okay it, it's water if it's very hot then it's gas so based on what the situation is the state end up changing so basically it's saying that the behavior changes dynamically based on the state behavior is this thing again this is a state and behavior is again it can be interdependent both of these things for example there are very famous example for example atm machine vending machine so these is like atm machine if you put a card the state is different if you uh, put a pin the state is different if the money is out the state is different same way for the vending machine if it's empty state is different if you put the money state is different if it's full state is different so there are multiple states associated with it on the basis of different situations next we have template pattern as you can see template now obviously i hope so that you have made a good resume and for that you have been using our template which we have given in the resume video now for that template what does it say it says it's a fixed structure which you can follow obviously you have to customize based on your needs for example all also i can say let's say if it's a cooking recipe so i can give you a template okay this is how you will make paneer tikka masala but then you will add some extra cheese on top of it right that's how you will make your own recipe but you have a structure you have a template and that's how you can simply make so it allows both consistency and flexibility because you are adding on top consistency because you are following a template next we have iterator pattern i hope so that you must have heard about iterator iterator as in iterating through words iterating through list iterating through keywords so it is kind of going through something it is usually a playlist of songs or maybe anything it can be a list array whatsoever as you can see list array collection any collection whatever whatever you have you are iterating through it so basically it's iterating through a collection without worrying about how it is structured so you always call next and has next you don't care if it's a list it's a hash map it's a set no worries and again this question as you must have seen about my coin base into experience there is literally a lot of iterators which can happen and again in that video i have discussed about many iterators which they have asked and that's how this is very 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 highly used because now you are abstracted you just call next and has next you doesn't care that internally how it is structured it can be a array it can be a linked list it can be a hash map it can be a set it can be literally anything it can be a rounded hash set it, it can be a you know a circular list anything whatsoever next we have visitor pattern again visitor as you can see visitor so it's like you have a some you have some guest and that guest will make some improvements in your house for example you get your girlfriend and she will just you know put some cute cute things uh, all that uh, stuff in your house that is it will make it much better right which means kind of extending the functionality without changing existing code so you have your house it says that i'm making it a bit more beautiful or maybe you know putting up something kind of just having some more functionality without even changing the existing ones next we have momento momento says okay uh, simply again as you can see momento it sounds like nintendo right again kind of you are having a game save feature for example let's say you are going to capture a specific state for example let's say you are playing a game 
and then your mom came up you want to pause the game so then pausing the game which means you are pausing a game state and then when you when your mom goes back then you will restore it later and then play again from the same state this is how your mem memento pattern works it simply says that okay you have undo feature you have roll back feature this is the primary use case of memento pattern cool and that's you see that how beautiful these patterns are again we will discuss in very deep about the codes and all that stuff but you see that how interesting they will be again last as a, con as a conclusion we see that we have we will have a code of clean efficient adaptable smooth reduced dependency flexible modular scalable again i literally put all the buzzwords all the jargons here but the entire essence is that your code will become super good because of your behavior design pattern and ultimately it focuses on how the objects interact rather than creating an object because creating an object we saw last time which was creation design pattern here we are seeing that how the objects interact with each other because after creation next step is interaction of them cool lastly as i mentioned that they helps to communicate effectively they keep the interaction structured and clear that's very important you know for good for good communication and all, also makes my software easy to maintain grow and also just have anything for it even if i, I want to scale it up it's pretty simple cool let's jump on to the next one which is strategy design pattern